Hi, nice to meet you. You too, how are you? All right? I'm good, nice you? To see you? Yeah, good, thank you. Great. Good yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to see this place. It looks absolutely stunning. It really is, it's lovely. It's um, one of the top selling hotels for us. Wow, I can see why already. I haven't even been inside yet. Please. Thank you. May I speak to uh, Alejandro, please? Of course. This is Alejandro. Hi, nice to meet you, Corinna. Corinna. The hotel started 65 years ago. My grandparents bought the little house here and they went swimming in the sea every day. That's the reason why they chose this location and not somewhere else. And well, it started with 12, 12 rooms and it's grown a little bit since. Oh wow! And now we have around 92 rooms in the main building and some villas. So did they start this out as somewhere to live and then expanded and got the idea? Well, uh, my grandfather was a tailor in Palma and uh, my grandmother was living here and she was getting a little bit bored. <laughs> and uh, well, in, a, in order to find a way to entertain her, we thought, oh, let's do a guest house. And they started with a little guest house and it grew into what we have today, slowly. And you'll see how we get to the beach and I'll show you a little bit more about the history. That, that's wonderful. So your grandma thought, I'm, I'm a bit bored, so I'm going to open up a hotel. <laughs> Those are my grandparents, my grandmother, my oh, father. Oh, wow. And then there's a picture of my grandfather with Errol Flynn, who was. Errol Flynn, the filmmaker, wow. A close friend of his. That's amazing. Is Errol Flynn like to stay in this hotel as well? He started staying here, and then my grandfather assisted him in getting a property of his own oh. just down the road. Oh, that's incredible. This, well, this place is just full of. History. There's a lot of artifacts from <coughs> different travels of my grandparents. Whenever they went to Asia or wherever they went, they found little things that they enjoyed and they brought them over to Mallorca. And luckily they had a big enough house. And how do you get out on the Yeah, that horse there. <laughs> luckily at the time the restrictions were not yeah, so strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the most unique story out of all those different things that they've acquired? I know there's been bottles of whiskey involved in going through a certain country. <laughs> <laughs> whiskey always helps to ease things, surely. <laughs> Everything is very sort of like fine dining, it's a la carte meal, a la carte menu every night to get a choice of all different foods and wines. Oh, it sounds like such a dream. This, this, this is my kind of place. <laughs> And, wow. Uh, Alejandro's mother, she's very so like um, clever, very a good interior designer. So like when Halloween's coming up, she'll completely decorate the whole oh, hotel really? yeah, with all oh. that sparks and little things and all little caves and things, yeah. Oh it's so quirky. It is it is quite quirky. You see we've got like the ocean view views from here. Yeah. Then the hotel is built on three different levels. So the main building and then as you'll see, we go underneath three tunnels underneath the road which goes down, down and down, right down to the coastline. Oh, this is just so interesting. It just, what I love about this place, I've only been here five minutes, is it, it just seems to be like a lot of love put into it. And absolutely, it's real... it family. Yeah. And when you get with the family hotels, is that they, they care about it, they're passionate, and the customer service they've got with the, with the, with the customers is absolutely number one. Yeah. I can tell already that this is just somewhere that's just got good vibes the minute you walk <laughs> in, you know, this is, it just feels yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. For me, it's an oversized home. Uh, mm. This is where we live, this is where we look after our guests. Unfortunately, they cannot be 100% guests. We have to ask them for a little contribution at the end of the stay. But we <laughs> <laughs> a little contribution. I, 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 <laughs> Should we yes, I'd love to see the rest, yes. Show us the way. Let's go. So, when did you start uh, getting involved with the management of the hotel? <laughs> When did you start contributing? <laughs> I've been working in the hotel for the last 10 years. Okay. And I finished university, I worked in the UK for some time, I worked in Paris for a bit, and then I started with a family. And you've always been in the hotel industry? or? Yes, it's been what, well, what I've known since I was yeah. a kid. I grew up here and that was well, what I wanted to continue doing. Wow, this is an interesting area. This is very oriental. Well, it's a bit wow. of a mix. <laughs> and it's a bit of, yeah, a bit of a mix, a bit of a cross-Asian uh, theme here. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
It's got a lovely smell, that lovely old house smell. I love that. Oh, oh, this is so cute. This is, I had, I would not have expected anything like this. It, you know, it's funny because the minute I walked into this hotel, I thought this would be very much a place that adults would like to come to to relax and, you know, either people very retired or, you know, left the children at home. <laughs> but this is this is great. So this is a really family orientated hotel as well. As well, we look after families. Oh, it's so cute. There's a little bed in here as well. And we need the poo theme everywhere. This is a breakfast room. What a place to have breakfast every day. It's a, it's all buffet style, and we've got a show cooking as well, where people if you want like omelette, scrambled egg, boiled egg, you know, they make all that one, they do all the show cooking food, oh. and, that's, and that's the heated pool. Oh, wow. Not to use them a the day like today. Well, well you well, know. It's still warm. <laughs> um, the lucky bit about this pool is that we, well, heat it in a very green way. We yeah. use the excess heat generated by the fridges and freezers of the hotel. Really? use the heat in order to heat up this pool, which stays at 28 degrees all year round. <laughs> oh, bless him. Bless him. Bless, bless the lifeguard. I think a lot of British people, though, because we don't, well, this is normal weather. Well, apart from this summer, it was quite good, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I believe, yeah. But, but usually, you know, with the, with the rubbish weather we have, I think even Brits came here and like, well, I don't care. I'm going to get in there anyway because yeah. I paid for this. And I'm, yeah. going to, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go in the pool. <laughs> This is not just any yoga room, is it? This is this is a this is exactly the kind of room you'd imagine you'd want to be doing yoga in. Oh, it's time to see one of the rooms. Oh wow! Oh, this is so beautiful. It's just so light as well. So much light in here. Wow. So what room is this? This would be a junior suite. Mm -hmm. One of the rooms that are more popular for the hotel. And this one in particular has a very large stairs. But uh, every room in the hotel is uh, slightly different. Your mother has a very good eye for decoration yeah. because this is so beautifully put together. And what's interesting, what I like about it is the fact that you've mixed the old with the new, so you've got a lovely classic feel, and you've got this beautiful painting here, and you can smell the wood and the, from the furniture. But it's it's still quite, it's quite modern. It's like a modern feel as well as being country. Like. We try to have a bit of both. We need to have the comfort of uh, our daily life nowadays, uh, but have little features of the tradition if we can. Wow. Uh, Oh. oh, this is a perfect place to have your aperitif and look over the sea. Well, this is a very safe haven away from Magaluf, isn't it? It is, yes. <laughs> it's just a nice sanctuary. Oh. You said this is the only hotel that's kept its character. It's one of the only hotels on the island which has kept its character and its standards over the years, where a lot of the hotels sort of like reinvest and refurbish and make the hotels modern to yeah. go with whatever fashion's in, but the, thankfully the Bon Sol's kept its standards and its character over the years, and that's why many people come back year after year. But I can see why. Yeah, I can see time why. Time this yeah. is right up my street. Yeah. This is exactly yeah. the sort of place I'd want to stay in. Yeah. It just feels homely. Wow, oh this is so beautiful, so, so beautiful, oh this is perfect, this is, you couldn't ask for a better view than this, this is exactly what you want. So these little treats on the table, what, what are these? It's some of the amenities we prepare for our guests on arrival, and uh, we have some chocolates and a fruit basket, and often enough it would come with the cava. And even though with a little personalised, oh. probably on the side there, welcome um, on behalf of the bomb on behalf of the family as well. Oh, that's so, so cute. Little details in there. Oh, so you've got your own branded towels. Ah, yes. oh, and so they get to have these towels for the week then. Right. And ah, oh, it's beautiful little baskets. We have a number of environmental 
approaches to the world and uh, well, um, we have a little plantation of uh, trees. We wanted to do it in Spain but uh, it didn't make sense so we planted trees in Costa Rica in order to offset the CO2 that we generate as a hotel. So now um, we are crossing under the road that crosses in front of the hotel and we want to make our way down to the beach. Wow, so you actually got a secret under the road passage to get to the beach? We constructed this tunnel in order to make it easier for our guests to reach the beach area and to make sure we had a continuity over the whole property. So is this a spa area now? Yes, here is the treatment area from our spa. Here our therapists <laughs> can offer you Facial, manicure. Mm. Oh, it smells so lovely in here. You can smell the lovely candles and the essential oils. Here mm. we have a little treatment room for couples in case somebody wants to enjoy a massage with their loved ones. Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't know you could do that. Just having a, just some time together to relax. Here we have a family therapy room. Oh, wow. Here you have a bath either with uh, sea water with milk, with almond milk, which almonds are typical from Mallorca, and then you have a little massage to finish. So which room are we going into now? Now we're going to have a look into a family suite. Ah. Family rooms. You've got your own living area. Well, it makes it a lot easier if you have a larger family mm. that you can have the kids sleep here and the parents have their own privacy in the main room. You really are spoilt for views in this hotel. This is lovely. It's a different kind of view to the other rooms, but you get that it's cozy. Very different. Here we have a garden view. We also see the sea. The main pool that is down there is filled with seawater. Or oh, really? Oh, so it's very therapeutic then. Yeah. But uh, then again, you have the sea next door. It's mainly <laughs> if you don't trust yourself into the sea, you can always have yeah. a swim into something. So you have the sea without being in the sea. Without that the makes rest. sense. <laughs> there is Araucaria, which for me are very important. <laughs> which are those trees here? Ah. Uh, and why are they important to you? Because they were planted when I was born. Oh. <laughs> oh so this is really a family oriented hotel. It's all about the history of your. It's of your family. Uh, a very big extent of our family history. Oh, well this is so lovely as well. The toiletries that you have, are they, is there a local connection at all? It, it is a very local connection. Uh, I mentioned earlier that we were using almond bath. Mm -hmm. And all our soaps are locally made. And mm. they're based on almond. So yeah. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. It's just so, so much character. Time to reflect and nourish your soul. I totally wholeheartedly agree with this sentiment. I think that's what holidaying is about, isn't it? Isn't it? It's everything in one sentence. I've had such a lovely time here at the Bon Sol. I've only been here for two hours and I felt incredibly welcomed in such a short space of time. If you enjoy traditional hotels of a lot of heart and a lot of character and a lot of history, this is definitely the place for you to come. And also, the food is quite something. Mm. Mm. Mm.